Hello and welcome back to the Central Nervous System Pharmacology Masterclass. Here we will talk about the methadone. Methadone is another synthetic opioid medication and here we will explain the pharmacology related to this drug. Regarding the pictures, on the left we have the chemical structure of the methadone the black spheres are for the carbon atoms, the white spheres are for the hydrogen atoms, the blue sphere is for the nitrogen atom, and the red sphere is for the oxygen atom. And the picture on the right is for one of the oral formulas of the methadone. You can always use the chapters in the video description to skip through to other parts of this video if you would like to. So let's start with an overview for the methadone. So methadone is a synthetic opioid analgesic medication. It was developed in Germany in 1939 by the German chemist Gustav Hart and Max Bockmull. And methadone is famous for being used in treatment of opioid dependence. Now I know a lot of you are wondering why would we use an opioid to treat opioid dependence does seem like uh, stupidity but I will tell you why in the therapeutic uses section of this video. Now let's explain where the methadone sits in relation with other opioids available. Uh, so regarding opioids we have the natural opioids, we have the semi-synthetic and we have the synthetic. The natural examples for them are the morphine and the codeine. The semi-synthetic examples for them are the heroin and the hydromorphone and then we have the synthetic which are on three uh, types we have the agonist we have the antagonist and we have the mixed agonist antagonist both the natural and the semi-synthetic being agonist and the synthetic on three types as we mentioned agonist antagonist and mixed agonist antagonist and methadone is included in the agonist synthetic opioids uh, besides the mepridine family and the tramadol. Now let's talk about the pharmacokinetics of the methadone. So it is available in multiple oral formulas including pills, sublingual tablets and the drinkable formulas too. All the oral formulas has good absorption with bioavailability of 70 to 100% and the methadone is metabolized by the liver by the CYB2B6 and CYB3A4. And it is also excreted exclusively through the bile with a half-life that is long from 12 hours to 25 hours, but the duration of analgesia is 4 to 8 hours. Now let's talk about the mechanism of action of the methadone. So the methadone work as agonist on the opioid receptors, especially the mu receptors, which are available everywhere in the human body, especially in the central nervous system. Uh, this mechanism of action is available in all other opioids, the ability to activate the opioid receptors, but methadone has something that is not available in other opioids, and that is it is ability to block the NMDA receptors and the monoaminergic reuptake transporters which are both of the, those are non-opioid related receptors and the blockage of these receptors explain the methadone ability to relieve difficult to treat pain examples are the neuropathic and cancer pain when morphine doesn't work and it is superior to uh, other opioids by having this ability to block the NMDA and the monoaminergic receptors. Regarding the pharmacological effects of the methadone, so when methadone activates the opioid receptors, it leads to several central effects, including analgesia, and methadone provides a better analgesia at 10 to 20 percent of the morphine equivalent dose meaning that the methadone is 10 times more potent than the morphine. 
It also lead to euphoria, which is a pleasant sensation. It also lead to sedation, which make the patient drowsy. It leads to respiratory depression because of the inhibition of the respiratory center. It also leads to cough suppression because of the inhibition of the cough center. And it leads to nausea and vomiting because of the activation of the chemoreceptor trigger zone in the brain stem. It also leads to meiosis, which is construction of the pupil uh, due to its parasympathetic effect. And it leads to pruritus due to histamine release. Uh, methadone also leads to several peripheral effects, including effects on the cardiovascular system in form of bradycardia and hypotension. It leads to effects on the GIT system in form of constipation. It leads to effect on the respiratory system in form of bronchoconstriction. And it leads to effects on the urinary system, which may lead to urine retention due to increase the tone of the bladder and the urethral sphincter which trap the urine and it might lead to urine retention and it also lead to effects on the immune system which lead to decrease immunity due to inhibition of the lymphocytes. Now let's talk about the therapeutic uses of the methadone. So one of the adverse effects of opioid use is opioid dependence. So when the patient is taking some type of opioid uh, recurrently this would lead to physiological adaptation to that medication and when the patient stops this medication this would lead to withdrawal syndrome and it would lead to a craving for that drug for that specific opioid so methadone is widely used in the treatment of opioid dependence it may be used as maintenance therapy mmt or in shorter periods to manage withdrawal symptoms now methadone is used to treat opioid dependence for these reasons they include that tolerance and physical dependence develop more slowly with methadone than with the other opioids due to its long half-life so the patient doesn't get dependent to methadone easily compared to other opioids and after sudden withdrawal of methadone withdrawal signs and symptoms are milder and prolonged compared to other opioids with shorter half-lives so so when we change the opioid of abuse with methadone and then we taper the methadone gradually uh, the methadone would not give as aggressive uh, withdrawal symptoms as with the other opioids and this is very important in uh, treatment of opioid dependence so one of the ways that we treat opioid dependence is with methadone maintenance therapy so it takes place in outpatient settings the methadone is prescribed as a single daily dose for those who wish to abstain from illicit opioid use the duration of the mmt ranges from few months to years and it may be lifelong because opioid dependence is characterized by being currently relapsing and remitting through the patient's life. The starting dose are not exceeding the 40 mg mark and then they are tapered gradually. Another use of the methadone is in treatment of chronic pain. It is more effective for neuropathic pain due to its action of the uh, NEMDA receptors as we mentioned before. Now let's talk about the adverse effects of the methadone. So at least to respiratory depression due to inhibition of the respiratory center as we mentioned. And methadone lead to increase the QT interval because of the action on the potassium channels in the heart. This would lead to increase the QT interval and it might lead to torsades the points arrhythmia. And it also leads to constipation, as we mentioned, leads to sedation, it leads to weakness, dizziness, and headache, and it leads to dry mouth, sleep disturbance, nausea and vomiting, and it also leads to mild amnesia, which is mild forgetfulness. And with that, we reach the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to like this video so it reaches more people. 
And if you want to support more, you can by subscribing to the channel or subscribing to the Patreon. Link provided in the description of this video. Thank you guys for watching and peace.